guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're finally having part 2 of our Credit Card 101 series, the Credit Card Do's and Don'ts. So if you haven't watched part 1 yet, which covers the basics, pros and cons, you may check the link in the description box below. The reason I started this Credit Card 101 series is I felt like people should be more knowledgeable about this topic. Na unfortunately, eh, hindi ba siya nung napapag-usapan nung nasa school pa tayo, in the office, or even among friends and colleagues. So hopefully, this credit card do's and don'ts video can guide you in choosing the right card for you and help you in managing and handling your credit card. So without further ado, let's now get started. Tip number one is do pick a card that's right for your needs. So ako guys, Personally, ang favorite kong credit card is this one. It's the Citibank Premier Miles card. And to give you an idea kung paano ko take advantage ng perks niya, I've been to Japan twice. Once to Singapore, once to Batanes via PAL, once to Malaysia via Malaysia Airlines, and once to Hong Kong via Business Class of Cathay Pacific. All for free. As in, I only had to pay for the taxes, but all the base fares were paid for by the miles na na-accumulate ko sa paggamit itong card na to. So, for me, it's the best card. But, just because it's the best card for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's also the best card for you. Because we have different spending behaviors and different perks we can take advantage from. So, for example, if you're a mom who does a lot of groceries, baka makapag-benefit ka sa may rebate pag nag-grocery. Or if you're a dad who uses a car, on a daily basis, you might want to look for credit cards that offer fuel discounts. If you're someone who loves shopping, you might take advantage of the shopping perks. So sa una kong video, ang daming nagtanong, how do you know which cards you can apply for given your level of income? So you can actually go to imoney.ph. I'll put their website sa screen, pati sa description box below. So basically, imoney.ph is a financial marketplace for financial consumer products, kagaya na lang nung credit cards, loans, insurance, and even broadband plans. And what's nice about it is accessible siya sa lahat ng consumers for free. So, hindi nyo kailangan mag-sign up or you don't have to pay for anything para magamit nyo yung features ng website. So, just to give you a quick guide, so website, under credit card, you can click on all credit cards. And yung mga unang papakita sa inyong cards are the featured ones. So this means na may ongoing sign-up promotion yung mga cards na to. For example, yung City Rewards cards offers zero annual fee for life if you apply until March 31. And then yung Premier Miles naman offers free round-trip ticket to Japan. Personally, I can recommend that you take advantage of these sign-up promotions if you're planning to get a credit card anyway. Kasi sayang din eh. Now, now, to those of you are asking kung ano yung mga pwede nyo applyan na credit cards given your level of income, they actually have a filter function. Pwede nyo i-indicate yung salary range nyo. For example, it's 20 to 30,000 and you want to take advantage of the zero annual fee for life. The website will show you your options. And for example, you're interested to know more about the City Simplicity Plus card, you can click on it and it will show you the details of the card. So, we can see here yung Minimum monthly income required, interest rate, annual fee, and the features and highlights of the cards. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of time to get stuck in the traffic, tapos maghintay pa kayo ng matagal sa bank just to apply for a credit card, you can actually submit your application through the website by clicking on Apply Now, and you just need to fill out the form. So, parang kagaya lang din ng mga credit card application form na fill out tanyo sa bank. Ito lang din yung mga information na kailangan nyo i-provide, but instead of manually writing them down, sobrang convenient kasi sa computer na lang. Once you fill out the form, imoney.ph will contact you via email, call, or text to update you on the status of your application. So this is actually a very nice tool to use kung gusto nyo mag-compare ng credit cards to know how you can take advantage of the sign-up promotions and para lang din mas convenient yung pag-apply nyo for credit cards. Tip number two is do apply for electronic statement and create an account with your bank so that you can easily monitor your credit card. When I was working for a bank, isa sa pinaka-common complaints namin na nare-receive that time was that yung physical statement na pinapadala sa bahay ng clients namin, usually sobrang late to madating. So to make sure that you get to pay your bills on time and para ma-monitor nyo rin real-time kung ano ba yung mga transactions na pumapasok, I highly recommend that you create an online account with your bank 
Tapos mag-sign up na rin kayo for electronic statement para every cut of date, i-email na lang sa inyo and pwede nyo ma-access yung details through your mobile phone or computer kahit nasa Pilipinas ka or even outside the country. Tip number 3. Do keep your credit card confirmation receipts and check your statement bill before paying. So every time you use your credit card to pay for a purchase or a service, isuhan kayo ng merchant ang maliit na confirmation receipt. Now, I recommend na itago nyo lahat ng yon, and then when your bill comes, i-counter check nyo bawat transaction kung valid pa. And in case merong suspicious transaction doon na hindi nyo ma-figure out kung bakit na bill sa inyo, or meron kayong sure na fraudulent transaction na hindi kayo yung gumawa, you can always call your bank to file for a dispute. Now, generally speaking, banks give you 30 days after the cut of date to file for a dispute. And once na nag-file kayo ng dispute, mandatory na ipa-replace sa inyo yung credit card nyo for your security. Usually, credit card replacement costs around 300 to 600 pesos, but you can always have it waived since technically, hindi nyo naman talaga nawala yung card. Tip number four is do pay your bills in full and on time. Now, pagdating sa statement, there are three important things you need to take note of. First is the due date and it's a deadline of payment. Now, kung hindi nyo ma-meet yung due date nyo kahit magbayad pa kayo in full, you will be charged late payment fees of about 700 to 850 pesos. For example, you're paying your credit card over the counter using a check, you have to allocate at least two banking days for the clearing of check. Now, as a general rule, if you're gonna use other channels na hindi under dun sa bank ng credit card nyo, allocate at least three banking days for processing of payment para palaging ma-make sure na ma-meet nyo yung due date. Now, the second thing you need to take note of is the total statement balance or total amount due. If you don't pay this full amount by the due date, guys, you will be charged 3 to 4% of finance charges every month and this is compounding interest. So, nakarinig na ba kayo ng horror story na nako ginamit ko yung credit card ko, I made a purchase worth 500 pesos, I forgot to pay, and then a year later, naalala ko, meron nga pala akong ginasto sa credit card ko na hindi ko nabayaran and all of a sudden, parang 7,000 na yung bill ko. And actually, Totoong nangyayari itong mga to, it's a combination of the late payment charges and the finance charges compounded monthly. So kung ayaw niyong ma-charge ng kahit anong interest, kung baga gagamitin yung credit card pero wala kayong dagdag na babayaran, make sure that you get to settle the full statement balance by the due date. The third thing you need to take note of is the minimum amount due. Now, this is the minimum amount that you need to pay for para hindi matag as delinquent yung account mo at mapunta ka sa NDP. Well, NDP is the negative data bank which is a pool of information na ginagamit ng banks para sa mga tao na may negative credit record or yung may mga delinquency sa payment or paghandle ng credit facilities. So what does this mean? For example, in the future, you want to apply for a housing loan or an auto loan. Kahit sa ang bank kayo mag-apply, check nila yung NDB or negative data bank. And once they see na may hit ka doon, it's very unlikely na igagrant ka pa nila ng kahit anong type of loan. So, kung gusto mo mag-business in the future, hindi ka makakaasa sa loan, guys. Dapat mag-ipon ka kung magkano ang pera yon. Kung gusto mo magpatayo ng bahay, hindi ka makakagamit ng bank financing, mag in house financing ka na parang twice to thrice yung interest rates na babayaran mo. To ensure na hindi kayo masasama sa NDB, at the very least, you need to pay for the minimum amount due on or before the due date. And once na meron na kayong cash na maging available, settle the remaining balance as soon as possible. Huwag nyo nang hintayin yung next statement bill kasi the longer na merong naka-outstanding balance sa inyo, mas malaki din yung finance charges na may incur ng account nyo. Tip number five, do swipe if and only if you'll have cash to pay for the total statement balance by the time it gets due. So please guys, don't treat your credit card as excess funds. You can use on anything that you please. It's not your money. It's not your source of income. Any amount na it charges sa credit card nyo is an amount that you owe your bank and therefore it's an amount that you need to pay back. Remember guys, the first rule of not getting into deep bad debt is to not make purchases that you cannot afford. 
Tip number six is do not exceed your credit limit. So basically, guys, your credit limit nyo is the maximum amount of unpaid purchases na pwede nyo i-charge sa inyong credit card at a given time. So for example, you have a credit limit of fifty thousand pesos and you purchase a cell phone for thirty thousand pesos. Payable in six months at zero percent interest. While every month, ang ito charge sa inyo for the installment purchase is five thousand pesos only. The whole thirty thousand will automatically be deducted from your credit limit. Now that means that all other purchases aside from the phone, pag pinagsum nyo yung cost nila, should not exceed twenty thousand pesos. So para naman na replenish yung credit limit. So, for example, every month, di ba, nagbabayad kayo ng 5,000 sa phone. For every 5,000 na binabayaran nyo, mara-replenish din yung credit limit nyo by 5,000 pesos. Please note lang din na while a transaction may lead to you exceeding your credit limit, not necessarily na isa-stop ng bank po yung transaction. Most likely, magpupush through pa rin yun, pero macha-charge kayo ng over-limit fees of about 800 pesos per occurrence. For example, on top of your credit limit, nag-swipe kayo ng tatlong tagwa 100 peso transactions. Ang magiging over limit fees nyo doon is 800 times 3, which is 2,400 pesos. A safe guide is to keep your credit card utilization to below 50% para meron kayong pang buffer in case of emergencies. Tip number 7 is do take advantage of the benefits, rewards, and promotions offered by your credit card. So your rewards guys are either the miles or the points that you get to collect by using your credit card. Iba-iba yung reward system ng bawat credit card company per type of credit card. I recommend that you check out your credit card's rewards programs to know how you can take advantage of it. Promotions naman guys are unlike rewards kasi yung promotion seasonal sila. So hindi sila palaging nandyan. So for example, Visa usually has tie-ups with Cebu Pacific. So regardless ko anong credit card company na meron ka and credit card type, for as long as Visa affiliate siya, you can use it sa Cebu Pacific to avail of the discounted fares. Sometimes, credit cards also have tie-ups with restaurants. Like for example, yung Metro Bank Platinum ko usually has 50% discount promo offering pagdating sa mga high-end restaurants. So usually, kung mas premium yung credit card nyo, mas premium din yung mga ka-tie-up nila na establishments. Tapos kung mas pang beginner yung card nyo, Medyo tailor fit din yung mga katay up nila na brands and merchants. Actually guys, there's one advantage of credit cards na I don't think aware ang mga tao. So ako guys, I never pay for my flights using cash or using yung mga 7-Eleven or other payment channels. I always use my credit card to book my flights. Kasi credit cards usually have free travel insurance if you use your card to book for the flight. Tapos hindi na tuloy yung flight na reschedule siya ng isang araw or dalawang araw, your credit card can actually insure you for the trip. Pwede niyang i-cover yung ibang mga charges, for example, yung hotel accommodation or yung mga food na kakainin mo, you just need to present the receipt. So these benefits are for free. You don't have to pay any premium on top of yung normal bill nyo. Just by using your credit card, you get to have travel insurance. Tip number eight is do not ever use your credit card to withdraw cash or apply for cash advance. Yes guys, sobrang convenient lang mag cash advance. Pupunta ka lang sa ATM, ipapasok mo yung credit card mo, and then may lalabas ng pera kahit wala ka talagang cash sa iyong banko. But remember guys, this is cash that you owe the bank. This is not your money. And ito yung cash na kakalabas pa lang sa ATM. Meron ng automatic na 4 to 5% interest. Isipin nyo, on an annual basis, it's more than 50%. So, OA siya. Taga talaga siya. Parang nilubog mo yung paa mo sa utang. Ang matitip ko na lang is, if there's a transaction that you really need to pay for, pero short na short kayo sa cash, I recommend na iswipe nyo na lang yung credit card nyo to make the purchase. Tapos, bayaran nyo na lang 30 days after para hindi kayo ma-charge ng interest. Tip number 9 is, do transact with credible websites only. So, some of the websites that I trust when making online purchases are Lazada, Zalora, Sephora, Agoda, Booking.com, Klook, yung Grab na app, Airbnb, yung mga famous na websites. So, how do you make sure na secure nga yung website na pinag i nyo ng credit card details? First tip is to look at the website URL. 
Instead of HTTP, dapat HTTPS siya. So, look for the S. It signifies na encrypted yung website. Also, look for these logos. The MasterCard Secure Code and Verified by Visa. Tip number 10 is do not share your credit card information with anyone. Kahit sa closest friends nyo pa, kahit sa family nyo pa. Keep it confidential. Dapat kayo lang yung nakakaalam. Remember guys, you may be held liable for all transactions incurred by your card regardless kung ikaw o hindi ikaw ang nagtransact nun. So you should not disclose the following information to anyone. First is your credit card number. Second is your credit card expiration date. And third is your credit card CVC or CVV which is the card verification code. Yung three-digit code na found on the back of your credit card. Bakit? Kasi those three details are all it takes to make an online transaction. So kahit nasa safekeeping mo yung credit card mo, kung merong may masamang balak, magagamit niya pa rin yung card mo. So just be cautious lang guys, and I recommend ganito yung gawin nyo. I-memorize nyo yung three-digit CVC nyo dito, isa puso nyo, isa isip nyo, and then lagyan nyo ng correction tape. Kagaya ng sa akin, wala kayong makita, di ba? Actually guys, swerte lang tayo na here in the Philippines, it's not so rampant. But in the US, for example, pag inabot nila yung credit card nila, minsan yung mga cashier, pinipicturan yung harap, tsaka likod ng card. And then the next thing they know, meron ng mga unauthorized transaction and purchases na ginamit yung card nila. Tip number 11 is be physically present where your card is being transacted. Now, there was this one time na bumibili kami ng phone ng friend ko sa cyber zone. And yung pinagbilihan namin, wala silang POS or point of sale kung saan sinaswipe yung credit card. So, sinabihan kami ni ate, very nice naman siya. Sinabihan niya kami, nahintayin na lang namin siya, magsaswipe lang siya ng credit card sa sister store nila, and then she'll be back. Hindi ko sinasabi guys na masama si ate, hindi siya trustworthy because she was very kind. But if you're a credit card user, it is your responsibility to make sure that you minimize your exposure to risk. So, kahit mabait si ate, naman namin siya sa sister store and nandun kami habang sinaswipe niya yung credit card. Just to make sure na safe yung credit card details ko and yung credit card itself. Tip number 12 is to keep a record of your credit card numbers and bank contact details para you can report right away if something happens to your credit card. Kung manakawan man kayo ng credit card or hindi kayo sure kung nasaan yung credit card nyo, wag nyo nang pagpaliba ng isang oras, dalawang oras, isang araw before reporting your card as lost. Kasi any transaction made during the window na hindi kayo nag-report may be held liable for and baka kayo yung pagbayarin. Number 13, do ask your credit card company to have your annual fee waived or better yet, mag-apply kayo pag ang sign-up promotions is the no annual fee for life. So may mga credit cards na ang basic feature nila is zero annual fee for life such as the Citibank Simplicity Card and the Metrobank M3 Master Card. Pero dahil by default, ang feature nila is zero annual fee for life, they usually also fall short pagdating sa mga perks, mga promotions, and benefits na kayang i-offer ng card. So, if you still want to avail of a credit card na merong mga rewards programs, may mga miles programs, I highly recommend na mag-sign up kayo pag ang ongoing promo ng credit card is free annual fee for life. And as you saw naman kanina dun sa website sa imoney.ph, meron doon mga featured cards na madami, no annual fee for your life yung nakasulat within the validity period. Tip number 14 is do make sure that your bank account details are always up to date. So this includes your contact number, your email address, your present address, and your full name kung magpalit man kayo ng surname if you get married. The system of banks can detect suspicious transactions and if they find anything suspicious, they will inform you via call, text, or email. Tip number 15 is do inform your bank in advance if you're traveling out of the country. As mentioned earlier, the bank system can send suspicious transactions and when they do, they will try to give you a call or text you. So for example, Usually, yung transactions mo is in the Philippines, in peso denominated. Tapos, all of a sudden, nasa Dubai na yung transaction and foreign currency denominated na. Tapos, for example, you're out of the country, naka-airplane mode kayo, and hindi ma-verify ng bank yung transaction, the bank will automatically block 
the purchase. So, kung ayaw nyo mapahiya sa counter, guys, na parang ang dami nyong shopping, pero all of a sudden, hindi pala kayo makakabayad kasi hindi informed yung bank nyo. Ayun. Make sure na before leaving or going out of the country, you advise your bank of your travel plans. Speaking of travel plans din, marerecommend ko na kahit hindi nyo plan mag-shopping, to bring a credit card with you when you go out of the country. Kasi you can never tell eh, baka may emergency na mangyari, you might need to visit a hospital, eh paano kayo magbabayad kung wala kayong dalang cash? Tapos, hindi din kayo nakapagdala ng ATM. So, just to make sure that you will get covered in case may emergency when you're out of the country, always bring a credit card. So, guys, those are my credit card do's and don'ts that I've learned from my experience working in a bank and as a user for 8 long years. So, again, guys, for credit card application, you may visit www.imoney.ph iMoney Philippines also allows you to compare other financial products and services such as personal loan, business loan, insurance, investment, and even broadband plans. And they go beyond getting customers to apply for credit cards because iMoney Philippines has this vision of empowering consumers to make intelligent decisions on money matters. So you can also check out their learning center which I personally use to get financial information and helpful tips on spending, saving, investing, and earning. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Remember to swipe if and only if you can pay in full and on time. Hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!